Wrestling means to me giving me a shot at all my goals from whenever I was a little boy coming up, watching the kids wrestle from high point like Nick Frankabilla, all the greats. My name is Jared Kobus and this is my story. Well, wrestling began in my life back in second grade. It just kind of sort of happened one day. Uh, my mom signed me up without me knowing, bought me a pair of wrestling shoes, and the next day I, I knew I was on the mat. And ever since then, I just kept it rolling and kept grinding out in practice. Growing up, like, uh, I started like before Jared and stuff, and uh, once he started, like, he started getting the hang of it a lot faster. He was, he was like, obviously had like a given talent for wrestling and uh, he uh, he started winning, we started going to tournaments and stuff and he was always the uh, winning them and I was taking third and fourth. I was a little, a little disappointed but he was, uh, he was good. It was fun. First time I saw Jared, I knew he was going to have have the potential to have a really fine high school career, and uh, you know, it hasn't disappointed at all. The person that's guided me the most is my dad. He's really done everything he could for me, pushed me, just brought me to even bringing me to practice two hours away every day. I mean, we didn't wouldn't get home until midnight sometimes, and that's really helped me get to where I am today. taking a look back to, to Jared's freshman season and he kind of rolled along and, and did a nice job but it was kind of really at the HWS tournament that that a lot of people started to notice and say wow he, he actually ended up losing um, in overtime to a boy from from North Hundernet which is kind of funny you, you roll along with wins and he beat some really good kids but people noticed in the match that he lost um, you know and that boy had went on and, and was a multiple state place winner He's now wrestling at Lehigh. Um, he's obviously a very skilled kid, and, and Jared was right there with him. Um, you know, thinking back to that that point in time, obviously there were there were a lot of you know a lot of goals, a lot of things that we were hoping we could we could achieve um, while he was here. Um, you know, unfortunately with some with some injuries, we haven't kind of been able to get where where I think he's he's capable of being. You know. Um, I really do. I believe Jared's probably one of the most most capable kids that I've coached in high school, and I've had the opportunity to coach some pretty good kids, and and uh, Jared's right up there with the best of them. Uh, Jared's like presence in the room is pretty. Uh, it's good because we can all see how uh, how good he does, and we all want to like strive to be better. And he really tries to like push us and make us work harder in practice, and. Uh, Whatever we do, he's always trying to like make us really understand what we're doing wrong, and uh, he's just he's a good leader, and he helps out the team a lot. You know, it's been it's been very difficult at times, and, and we've we've dealt with a number of a number of injuries, and some of them are, are you know, I would say fluke. Um, you know, but it, it is, it's unfortunate. I just think, uh, you know, Jared is such, such a talented kid that it's kind of been easy for him to pick up the pieces and, and move along. Um, you know, in, in this sport, skill goes a long way, um, but also his approach is good, his conditioning is good, uh, he's very tough. You know, those have been some of the things that have, that have helped along the way. You know, I think some of the stuff that we've dealt with this year has kind of been a little bit more upsetting for him because, you know, it is his senior year. And, uh, you know, he's very, very goal-oriented. And his his first and I think most important goals were for the team to have success. And, you know, we were able to win, win a league title, which is is a very nice accomplishment. Um, 
you know, I think Jared was hoping for a little more, hoping to, to win a sectional title and possibly have another shot to win a group title. But, but we fell a little bit short, and it really has, it's no reflection on, on the seniors that we have. You take a look, those guys did, did a real nice job in our, in our sectional matches, and, and uh, yeah, just very happy to have Jared as a leader and, and um, you know, a, a key figure on our team. Uh, my favorite memory in high school wrestling is probably wrestling in the region finals. You got crowds from Phillipsburg to Kittatinny, everybody from High Point too comes out to support. And it's just an awesome place to be wrestling. I mean, unfortunately, freshman and sophomore year, I was hampered down with injuries and never got to finish the season. But this is the year I'm going to finish strong and on top. I think that the uh, team's going to miss having a middleweight like him that we know it's relying for a win or uh, a lot of bo bonus points in a match. And um, personally, I'm going to miss how I wrestled up the way underneath him and we really uh, like used to wrestle a lot in the room and play around and he helped me a lot and helped out the team a lot. But we're not going to miss all the push-ups he makes us do. Wrestling's kind of weird because it, it's you know the young kids are with the older kids. Um, in some sports, the freshmen are separated, and you know there's a big difference. Sometimes with wrestling, there's maybe not not that separation. Um, so some of the kids who don't know Jared very well personally, you know, get get to see him and meet him this year. And uh, you know, a lot of our kids have have different backgrounds in the sport. Some kids have been doing it for a long time and obviously know Jared. You know they. You know, they know who he is and probably have for years. But then we have some other kids that come in and have no idea who he is because they've never been involved with wrestling. So it's kind of kind of interesting to see how that all plays out. But, I mean, they really can see early on that, that Jared cared about team um, and he wanted the team to be successful. And, and you know, that he was, he was a talented young man, but it, it was a little, bit, a little bit bigger than that. It wasn't about Jared and I'm going to do this and, and look at me, look at me, I'm Jared Kobus. It wasn't that at all. It was, let's get this done as a team. Let's take care of what we need to take care of, get to work, and go accomplish what we can. And, and you know, that's, that's what they see. That's what the older kids see. And that's what the coaches see. So it's, it's, uh, it's been real nice having them. What I'm going to miss the most is going out at, in our home gym, wrestling in front of the big crowds that we've been pulling these past couple of years, and even running out to thank God I'm a country boy. That always gets everything rolling good for us. Jared's, uh, we want to thank Jared for like um, keeping the high point tradition going, us being a good team, having always just that one really good wrestler that uh, team can rely on and stuff. And uh, personally, I just want to thank him for like being my brother, helping me out in the room and stuff. And even after I might lose a match that I should have won, he he tells me what I did wrong and uh, helps me out. I would I would have to say, and going through, I mean, I've coached I've coached a number of of kids who Nick Francavilla was a three-time state champ, Ethan Moore was a two-time state champ, um, some one-time state champs, and Billy Smith and Drew Wagenhofer, and and before them Dave Zabriskie, who went on to win a national title at Iowa State. Um, all talented kids and, and all kind of brought something unique to, to our program and to the sport. Um, Jared's right up there with those guys. You know, and the, there's no question, had he been healthy, he would be talking about a multiple time, time state place winner, most likely a champ. Um, you know, and, and probably his number of wins would, would be off the chart because the, the one thing he doesn't do, he doesn't lose and he has not lost very often um, in his career period. He's been limited a little bit match-wise. Um, I, I would think one of the things that, that separates him um, is his toughness. Um, on the mat, he's very stingy, he's very stubborn, but he's also tough and he competes. Um, and, and I think that the other, the other way, technique-wise, that, that sets him apart is when, when he attacks, when he goes leg attack, um, very, very difficult to stop. And it's very rare that you see Jared take a shot without him scoring. And that happens whether he's wrestling a, a, you know, a local kid who's you know, at very average or he wrestles an elite level kid. Um, 
It's just his his ability to attack and close is is tremendous and, and probably as as a you know as a wrestler probably his takedowns are as good as anybody I've ever coached. So you know, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've enjoyed it and uh, you know glad he's a part of the High Point program.